Trey. You are Canada's top chef. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, that is Trey Sanderson right there, the winner of Top Chef Canada season 10. Great to have him in the uh, in the canteen this morning. Um, what's it like watching that again and that experience again? And, it's crazy. Yeah. Man, like every time I watch it, I just try to kind of get in Internally emotional, um, but it's exciting, man. This is this is great. Cause you, sh when did you shoot that? Um, in the summertime. You shot it in the summertime, but th but in 2022. But then you had to keep quiet. Yes, for a very long time. Right, yeah. and like you ever, everybody's kind of bug you yeah, yeah, to yeah. get the info on like, it. Like, where were you at? I'm like, can't even say it. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, listen, good to good to have you in the good Thank to have you in the canteen. I know Thank we're gonna you. be doing some um, cooking, but like, how did how did winning Top Chef Canada kind of change your culinary experience and even your life? Um, just like, you know, I think pushing the envelope for Caribbean flavors. Um, you always look at Caribbean flavors on a back burner, um, not so much on a high level. So for me to push those flavors forward and really showcase it against some of Canada's top chefs like across Canada was, was, was really, 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 really fun. Well, Caribbean, Caribbean flavors, I get intimidated by them because I don't know really how to yeah. use them, but they're so tasty. Like we yes. had some Caribbean food over the weekend. It's just like, it's just flavor explosion yeah. and there's some, some heat, some, mm -hmm. some other different flavors. I don't even know what it is, yeah. but what is Black Food Energy? Black Food Energy is a platform DoorDash has curated. Um, you know, it's a platform showcasing amazing black-owned, black-led restaurants across the GTA, across Canada. You know, showcasing some flavors that not everybody's used to. You know what I mean? So, DoorDash is doing a great job by you know showcasing that. You some know of I mean? some of the best restaurants are the hidden gems in yeah. those plazas that you don't know, maybe know exactly. that are cooking up some some gems. Yeah. And you're cooking up something this yes. morning for us that yes. that can be a little polarizing for people and they Definitely. get a little scared of it. I, I personally love it. What are you what are you doing? So this is my take on a curry goat, okay. but in a beef tartare form. So we got curry oil, curry aioli, a plantain based um, um, curry. Um, chives, onions, garlic, ginger, like so much different aromas and flavors that could go into a beautiful, uh, you know, campus like a tartare. What about, why do people get intimidated by tartare? Because is it the raw meat aspect? It might be the raw meat aspect. Okay. But, but the, the key about it is getting good, high quality beef. Exactly. And flavoring too. Like sometimes, you know, the beef could be lacking, but it's what you put in it as well. You know what I mean? You could use low quality, high quality. It's yeah. what you you know, put into it. Let's, let's put it together. What do let's you do it. Throw what you're, say what you're putting in there. So, so what's that? this is a curry oil, um, just like uh, curry and like oil just kind of stewed when down. You say, when, I think, when I think curry, is it, is it hot? Definitely not. No, I no, see. it's not. It's the, the say like kind of like the scotch bonnets and stuff like that that goes into curries. Right. Um, so we got the aioli, we got the plantain, we got the um, shallots, garlic, ginger, um, chives, you know, all those nice flavorings, you know. Where'd you learn to cook? Uh, in Toronto, you know, yeah. and, you know, all around the city, you know. Did you grow up? Did it start in the house? Like, did it start at home? Like, yeah, did. mom and dad were they cooking for you? Did you learn from? Did you learn that way? Or did exactly, you, did like, you guys, did you go somewhere else. No, no, yeah. So it started at home, yeah. and then slowly, slowly but surely, I wanted to do it professionally. And then, you know, I see some amazing restaurants, amazing chefs, and then, you know, here I am, would ten have, years later. Would you have a favorite dish? Like something that like is your comfort food, something that you can't go like anytime, uh, anytime you have. My favorite dish all time. Yeah, ah, that's a hard question. You know, I think there's so much um, different um, dishes that I love. Like, but I'm saying like with something growing up that you loved growing up. Yeah. Um, I would say, I would say um, yeah, it's pretty much it though. Yeah, that's so all. That's all. That, that's, that's how all, it is. That's all it takes. You know, you could serve this with plantain. You know, some nice crostini bread, whatever you like, you know what I mean? And, you know, just kind of plate it. But my favorite dish would probably be like oxtail or like a nice jerk chicken or something like that, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna. What's, on, what's on this plate here? So this is my garnish, this chef. Uh, you know, we got some, you know, amazing accoutrements. You know, you got some pickled, um, you know. Oh, you got the little mushrooms there? You yeah. know what I mean? Those are little mushrooms? That's it. Can I try one of those? Go ahead. So this, I made like a curry, like pickle liquor, liquid. Um, so it's like different, different vibes. You know what I mean? You know, a pickle liquid. You know, you could always do different things with it. Preserve vegetables and have fun with it. You know what I mean? But it's that putting that finishing touch on the on the dish. Exactly. And what? It, what's so this is here? chives. Just a little bit of chives. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I gotta get a. Let me get a fork here. I want to try this. Because we're running, we're running out of time. Where can people get more info, Trey? You can follow me on. Instagram and also Trey.Sanderson. 
um, and follow the journey. But also, you know, hashtag Black Food Energy and really find through, uh, through DoorDash. Through DoorDash. Okay. Exactly. 10 seconds. Let's see that. There's a finish touch. Beautiful. I'm going in. Trace Anderson, winner <laughs> of Top Chef Canada Season 10. Thanks, buddy. Have a great day. Dude! <laughs> <laughs>